This is Star Talk. Okay, he mm-hmm. says Alan Turing's early work. Turing. Alan. Did you misread that as nope, well? No, that is now sp- that's misspelled. Okay. Okay, it's uh, Alan Turing. 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 Early work uh, was on self-organization, uh, organizing systems. Uh, given a cosmic perspective, would entropy give way to equilibrium and then begin self-organization, or is the elegant order we see in the universe just Newtonian? So is it all gravity? Some of people, these people are doing their homework. Yeah, some people oh, are doing their homework. Oh my right now, god! Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, check it out. I got to tell you, man. Uh, Brian, man, you're making me work here. Yeah, Brian, all you right. got deep, Brian. You got deep. <laughs> so let me, let me, let me sort of unpack that. Yes, please do. All right. So the universe, as we expand, is cooling. Right. The entropy is increasing. This is the disorder in the universe. Correct. All right. And so, so. You can ask, if you have disorder, how do you have, if disorder is increasing, how do you ever have order? You get disorder if there's no source of energy pumping into the system. Gotcha. It's that simple. So why is there order on Earth? Why is there life? Mm -hmm. Why is there complex life rather than complete disorder? Because we are in orbit around a sun Sun. that is providing energy. Right. But in the big picture, the sun will ultimately die. Correct. Correct. And it will not regenerate. And anything on Earth would then also die along with die it. Die along with it. Right. right. Because that was our source of energy propping up the complexity of our systems against the, the disorder that would otherwise ensue. Right. So so it's it's only about where did you what is your source of energy and what is not. That's all it comes down to. Gotcha. Stars are a great source of energy. They last a long time. They're very mm-hmm. efficient. Right. And so that's why you can have pockets of complex stuff going on. They're the LED light bulbs of the universe. They, they keep on going. They just keep on going. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that was a stretch there, but, uh, but hey, I, you know, I'm helping you. I'm saying, I'm okay. I'm trying to make it relatable. <laughs> you know? Oh, by the way, on the subject of LEDs, yes. the Nobel Prize in Physics yes. for, 19, for 2014 was on the discovery of blue, blue LEDs, right? Which gave us white light. Is that what it is? Uh, it the, gives us. It allows us to have white light. Uh, yes, it, because we had red LEDs, right, and green LEDs. and green LEDs. That's R, 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 R G. R G. We need to be. We need that B. There's the B. There you go. R G B gives you white and every other color in the spectrum. Sweet Nobel Prize. Nobel Prize. Yeah. That's all it was to it. Just one little color got you a Nobel Prize. If I had known that, <laughs> you could have done that long ago. Please. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's all it took was one little color? Are you kidding me? 